Welcome, my name is Kinga and I started to make YouTube videos last year, right after my divorce, to document for myself and my closest friends how I am reinventing myself and my whole life. If you're not a friend, but you found this video, well done. Um, you probably needed some inspiration to test your manifestation power. If you listen to any of my videos, you know that I talk a lot about the law of attraction and manifestations. Uh, and just like with every skill, manifesting is also something that you can get better at with practicing. And I was a daydreamer as a kid and I spent a lot of time um, in my head just visualizing things and circumstances that I wanted. And I also prayed a lot for the things I wanted. And every time I prayed, I, I kind of saw the things in my head uh, with my mind's eyes, you know, seeing myself having it or doing whatever I, uh, I desired. And it kind of made me feel, you know, really happy and excited about it. So this whole visualizing and daydreaming kind of became my hobby. I only recently learned that this is the recipe of manifesting, you know, using the law of attraction in a conscious way. I just basically took advantage of it unconsciously or unintentionally as a kid without, without knowing how it works or what it is. And it brought some unbelievable results for me. And I have um, some magical fairy tale stories that still give me the goosebumps. And now being a more conscious creator, understanding the process better, I do the same thing, but intentionally. I imagine and visualize things I want and I try to put myself in the feeling state of already having it. Like uh, feeling grateful, you know, for having it or doing whatever I desire before it would actually manifest. And that is the recipe right there. That's what you gotta follow. And I realized that the time frame for my manifestations got shorter with time too. And now it can be a couple of days um, to six months, depending on the complexity of it. But even six months is pretty good. For example, the last very complex desire I had and took about six months to manifest was to find a business partner who is a ceramic artist and has a particular style that I envisioned. And we would have our own fully, fully equipped ceramic studio in the city of Stockholm and do courses and workshops for people on different hand building techniques. Now, for all this to come to realization within six months, you know, including finding that person, the space, renovating it, learning the skills myself, because I had zero knowledge whatsoever or experience uh, about ceramics and then uh, announce workshops, you know, do the marketing and then teach people. I think it's really amazing, especially if you also take it into consideration that we had no money to make it happen. And I think that's actually the most mind blowing part of this is that we had no money because in Stockholm, you have to buy the right to rent a store or any commercial space. You don't just get the rental contract. And, um, and ceramic kilns, you know, don't come cheap either or renovating a studio. Uh, but for us, it just, everything came together for almost free and it was pretty mind blowing. I just had the desire, got the vision, kept imagining it every day. I saw it in my, or with my mind's eyes and I felt really excited about it. No matter which spiritual teacher you listen to, they will all talk about the necessary combination of thoughts and feelings, how you create with your thoughts and you're attracted back to you with your feelings. Even Dr. Joe Dispenza, for those of you who prefer a more scientific approach to this miracle method, says that thoughts are the electrical charge in the quantum field, field and feelings are the magnetic charge in the quantum field. And how you think and how you feel broadcasts uh, an electromagnetic uh, signature that influences every single atom in your life. And the thought sends out a signal and the feeling is the magnetic field that draws the event back to you. So basically you order with your thoughts and you get it delivered to you with your feelings. And when I say feelings, you have to make sure that you do not have any doubts or, you know, you're not feeling unworthy or, or you don't have any resistance in you towards having that desire or desired thing show up. 
because you will not be able to attract it to you unless you you change your feelings and your vibration your vibe you know to feeling how you would already feel having it and feeling thankful grateful appreciative for already having it speeds up the process a lot because basically they say that your brain your brain doesn't know if whatever uh, you are thinking and feeling is something you are remembering from your past or you're currently experiencing it or you're just dreaming about having it in the future it will it will induce the same chemical reactions in your body and if this is all new to you or the information may not be that new but you haven't practiced it enough or you have not had much of a success with it yet i suggest you test you know the whole process test the universe you know test the law of attraction test your vibration start with something um, very small you know and just watch what happens and the more you do it, the quicker you become at the whole process. I've been feeling a bit low recently. And, you know, especially during the depressing, dark Swedish winter, which we are just coming out of, you know, end of April. And it was still like yesterday was like still snowing all day. So I think I kind of lost my faith in my manifesting power too for a while and it can happen you know from time to time and I can remind myself of it by remembering you know past stories for example the ceramic studio one because that's pretty awesome but I still had some doubts and I needed a kick I needed to feel my power again and and gain my confidence back so I decided to play a game and I'm going to share this with you because I want to inspire you to play the same game I wrote down three words on a piece of paper First word was perfume, because I was like, you know what, I'm just running out of my perfume that I've been using for a couple of years now and it's time to get a new scent. I don't want to get the same perfume. I would I would prefer to get something totally new for this new chapter of my life. But I was like, you know, I, I don't know which one because uh, I didn't really take the time to, to pick anything. And then for the second object, I wrote down Tris, which is the Swedish uh, scratch card. And then, because I just... Sometimes, you know, surprise myself with buying one because I really enjoy uh, those little cards. And then for the third object, I just picked something totally random. I put purple bag on the paper because I was like, I didn't need a purple bag in my life at all. Like, no, hell no. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put a random object. And if I see someone with that on the street or something, I will know that I have the power or the capacity or the skill or whatever to manifest that or to kind of call that thing to my uh, reality or my existence and I said universe please surprise me let these objects show up in my reality so I know that you listen to me and that I have the power to manifest whatever I want and uh, and I accompanied the words with a quick visualization of the object of the objects but I haven't really spent much time feeling grateful or imagining myself having it or seeing it or whatever However, I meditated every day, creating the feeling of uh, self-love and positive emotions in me, not because of the desire to attract these objects, uh, but because I was in a state, I told you, where I, you know, I just, I think I really needed to feel better. And I must admit that, you know, seeing the sun again daily helped my mood to, apart from yesterday, but, you know, the, the weeks coming up to it. Uh, so basically, I was getting better and better every day and arriving to this emotionally more balanced state, I would say. So I was generally feeling happy, which is how you feel when you are in alignment with your higher self. And Abraham Hicks says that manifestations are evidence of alignment. So it was time for the three objects to show up in my reality. Instead of thinking and feeling that I already attracted them and I'm feeling grateful and happy about it, I was taking a different path to manifestation this time. Instead of visualizing myself, you know, um, already having or, or seeing these three objects um, in my vicinity, in my reality, I just focused on getting myself into alignment emotionally or vibrationally and my desire for the objects to show up somehow was clear and it was out there and I knew I just had to get into the right feeling state to attract them and I would say that within about two weeks uh, a friend of mine from Germany calls me and he says he bought me a perfume he thinks I would like it and he, he would love to send it to me it actually arrived yesterday and 
first I was a bit skeptic because I'm like, hmm, maybe he doesn't really know what scent suits me or what perfume would suit me. But I think I, I kind of like it. I'm actually wearing it today. So thank you, John. Thanks a lot. Then a couple of days later, I saw a man uh, walking down the streets with two huge purple bags. I mean, impossible to miss. Took me a while, though, to register that it was a response to my list. Because at first I was just thinking, wow, I mean, how big and purple those bags are. I've, I've never seen bags like that before. And then a couple of days ago, I saw a car uh, driving in front of me with the registration plate LOA, low attraction. And it felt like a confirmation or a kind message from above saying that, hey, we are listening. And um, two days ago, I got an email from a company saying that if I send them a review on their service I used in the past, which was probably like five years ago or more than five years ago, they will send me a tris. And to be honest, I couldn't care less, you know, and, and I actually deleted the email. But the possibility to get the tris, you know, for free was there. You remember the Abraham quote saying, manifestations are evidence of alignment, right? So this game brought me joy for two reasons. First of all, it, it showed me that I have the skills and the power to manifest, you know, the law of attraction really works, and that I'm, I'm truly in alignment with my higher self. I mean, that's, that state, being in alignment, is where the ha magic happens. And that is where you want to spend the majority of your life. You won't be able to stay in alignment uh, forever and non-stop. And that's kind of impossible for us humans. But, but your intention should be to be there as much as you can. You will, you know, slip. You will fall out of it from time to time. But if you're conscious enough, you're aware of it, then you will be able to do your best to get back into it. So I got really inspired by this game and I was like, I have to share this info with you guys to inspire you to, to play it. So if you found this video, it's probably a sign that you need to play along with me. So if you're still watching this, grab a piece of paper, think of three objects. I mean, you know, like anything, anything that just comes to your mind. It doesn't even have to be something that you want to have or you need. It could be just anything like uh, uh, yellow boots or like whatever. Something that you think if you spot it on the street or in a store or whatever, it would really click in your head and you would understand, hey, this is the answer to my game. So write down these three objects and then you have two options. Uh, you either visualize yourself having or seeing these objects and feeling grateful and happy and appreciative about it. Or you, you do the way that I did. Basically, you focus on getting into alignment through meditation or whatever your technique may be. Basically, you have to get into the state of feeling satisfied with your life, you know, loving yourself, loving life and just generally feeling happy every day until until these objects show up. And of course you want to stay in alignment after that as well. Anyhow, test your alignment, test the law of attraction, how the universe works. And I think playing games like this can give you confidence and help you understand and believe in your manifesta manifesting power. And the more you practice, the less time you will need next time to attract your desires. So uh, me personally, I think I'm going to practice this until my timing is down to like one day. I mean, just imagine same day or instant manifestations. If you're stuck, message me on my Facebook group, Kinga Kramer and Friends, and let's figure out together why you're stuck and what you could do better or differently. So what will you write on your list? Remember to start small so you will not have resistance in you. Don't forget to share your success with others and me in the comment section because I'm super, super curious how it goes for you and what you write on your list and how soon it shows up for you. I mean, you know, just remember it's not a competition. We just want to inspire each other. And I also appreciate it if you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. You can also click the bell sign to keep you notified about the release of my next video. I try to release a video once a week. Hope to keep in touch. Take care. Bye. If you want a more intimate content and daily communication, please go and join my Facebook group called Kinga Kramer and Friends. Help.